guys welcome back to another vlog today is monday december 30th it is about 2 35 in the afternoon i hope you all are doing well i hope you all had a really nice christmas i had a very low-key christmas it was like abnormally warm for us here in michigan for christmas like you could walk outside in like a short sleeve shirt which is very strange but it was very low-key uh, me the dogs and my boyfriend just had a really calm day and I actually wanted to include that footage in here of the dogs opening up their Christmas gifts and also me and my sister did a gingerbread house. If you guys have been following me for quite a while then you would know that like a tradition that me, my dad, and sister always did is we always put together gingerbread houses so we continued that tradition this year so I just wanted to include a few of those clips in here so I will go ahead and do that now.
obviously it was very festive and it was just it was a good day I love watching the dogs open up their gifts it literally like it makes my whole entire life pretty much and yeah then after that we just it's always awkward like the few days after Christmas before New Year's you're just kind of like floating and you don't really know what you're doing or where to go or what your name is or anything like that so haven't really been doing much and I also wanted to give you guys an update on Jackal he has not been feeling well at all it all started on Saturday I went over to my sister and her fiance's house and I stayed the night there and starting at about like like 8 30 9 o'clock Jackal was just vomiting like every 20 to 30 minutes he wasn't eating he wasn't drinking like it was getting really bad he was very lethargic he wasn't he wasn't himself and I just I started to get really fucking worried and of course the week it's the weekend so no vet offices are open so I kept an eye on him on Sunday and he he wasn't puking anymore but he was just very lethargic and not himself and then Monday today I called first thing in the morning and I said is there any way I can please get him in like he's not feeling well so I took him in at 2 and we just got home I did take some footage of him at the vet so I will go ahead and include that right now as well this big guy at the vet I just took his temperature it was 101.6 so that's normal. Get on the towel. It'll be okay, buddy. Can you sit? Sit. Sit. Yeah, he does not feel good. How are you? Good, how are you? Jekyll is currently getting some IV fluids and some anti-nausea meds right now, so I'm just waiting for him. But he is not feeling well because usually when anyone walks through the door, he goes nuts. Like he starts barking, growling, like really aggressive and nothing. He was, so something is like, something's wrong. They took his temperature, it was 101.6, which for a dog is normal. Um, I also gave him a fecal sample from this morning. Maybe they can test that too. So if he's not better by tomorrow after getting the fluids and the anti-nausea meds, then I will be bringing him back in for blood tests and maybe an x-ray. <sighs> not how I wanted to end or start the new year. <laughs> I just hope he's okay because he's not... He's not doing well. It's almost like he's like robotic in a way. Like he just has no reaction to anything. He doesn't want to eat food, nothing. And I am absolutely exhausted. Like I have not slept. I was up with him all night Saturday and all night last night. So I'm just like, I'm freaking beat, dude. <laughs> Luckily I only work till 9 a.m. tomorrow, so. I can go right home and check on him, and if it's not good, then we'll be back here. So, God, I just want him to be okay. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I got Jackal eight years ago, and he is, he's my life, like, the love of my life, and I've never seen him, like, this sick before. And it's stressful. Like, I'm freaking out. Avril is currently with my sister because... It would just be too much to bring her along too, so <laughs> she's with my sister right now and I'm here at the vet with Jackberry. So Ugh. poor baby guy. We are home now and this is this is what he's doing. I mean he just he just doesn't really look like himself like he just looks really lethargic and he kind of has like a hump on his back right now because of the because of the fluids so I'm just waiting for his body to absorb the fluids but I'm hoping 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 he feels better by tonight or tomorrow uh, I don't know it's just it's so sad like I feel so helpless because you know dogs can't talk so he can't like tell me what's wrong, but I just, I know in my heart, in my gut, something's wrong. 
So I'm hoping that this helps, and if it doesn't, then we'll be back in the vet tomorrow and see what happens. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just gonna let him rest and see if he wants to eat later. When Avril gets home, she's probably gonna wanna eat. Maybe him seeing her eat will make him wanna eat, if that makes any sense. It also started snowing just now, so I'm glad I'm home. Um, the rest of the night, I'm just gonna chill. I recently picked up coloring, so I'm probably just gonna color the rest of the night and just take it easy. I do work tomorrow. I only work till about 9 a.m. Um, and then I will be home. So right when I get home, I can check on him. And if I need to, I will take him back to the vet right away if I need to. I will update you guys in a little bit when I have something to update you on. We'll talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. It is New Year's Eve today, December 31st. It's about 9, 10 in the morning. I just got home from work and a little bit of an update on Jack. He has not improved at all. He still will not eat. So I called the vet and he is gonna go in at 10 o'clock today for blood work, x-rays possibly. Just now I went outside and got a pee sample, which just by looking at it, it looks very dark. So I don't know if he is dehydrated, which is probably the case, or he has a possible UTI. I don't know. So we're gonna go in and just try a whole bunch of stuff and see what's going on, but I just tried to give him a treat just now and he wants nothing to do with it. He wants nothing to do with anything. When I walked in the door from work, he wanted nothing to do with me. He was just laying there, so it's not looking too good. He still doesn't have a fever, he just, he has no energy, which again makes sense because he hasn't been eating. So I'm a little worked up um, because of that, but not only that, but we are in the middle of a god-awful, terrible blizzard snowstorm. So I have to drive about eh, 20 minutes from here in the fucking blizzard, so I'm not excited, but at the same time, like, Jackal needs to go, and if I have to risk my life to do that, then so be it. I'm about to head out now. They both went to the bathroom. I'm just gonna get them loaded in the car and we're just gonna take it nice and slow. I'm literally only gonna go like 30 miles an hour in a 55 because it's bad out. It's icy, it's slushy. We're getting like an inch an hour. Like it's fucking, it's legit, dude. I don't know why we couldn't have this weather on Christmas because on Christmas it was like shorts and tank top kind of weather and now it's like you're inside the abominable snowman's asshole. So yeah, that's the deal with that. I am getting ready to head to the vet. I'm, I'm trying to be optimistic. Uh, I know this is going to cost me an extreme amount of money and we don't even know what's wrong. So we have a very long road ahead of us. I hope we can get down to the bottom of it. I hope it's something as simple as a UTI. He can just take some antibiotics and he should be good. But if it's not that and it's something more serious, then this is going to be a very interesting 2020. So I will update you guys when I come back from the vet, uh, but we are, we're gonna head out now. I'm nervous for him. I feel bad for him because he's not, He's not acting like Jackal, and if you know Jackal and you saw him like this, you would be like, what the hell happened to your dog? So I'm, I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping we can get this figured out, and hopefully I get there without sliding my car into a ditch. So wish me luck, and uh, let's get going.
doing this right now. I'm sweating. I have to shit. Ugh. I have a fucking anxiety attack. I should have stayed home. <laughs> Hey guys, it's now noon, same day. I just got back from the vet. No jackal. They did blood work and they did a urine sample on that urine that I brought in, which I'm so glad I brought that in. Um, they ran that, they did blood work and it, there is something wrong with his liver. Um, basically every liver enzyme whatever you want to call it is high like way too high um i don't know like technical terms yeah i don't i don't know i mean i'm sure i'll get more information later but basically there's some like his liver is working overtime and we don't know why we don't know if it's his gallbladder we don't know if it's cancer we don't know if it's liver disease we don't know so they told me that he needs to be hospitalized so I had to leave him there which I didn't really have an easy time doing I mean like I was strong in front of him but as soon as I got in the car I just started bawling in the eight years that I've had Jackal I have never he's never been away from me or his family ever like he's never been hospitalized nothing so that's like what I'm worried about but he is in literally like he's in the best hands possible they're gonna give him an ultrasound and see what that ultrasound says he's gonna be hooked up on IV fluids he, they're gonna syringe feed him because that's the only way that they're gonna get food in his system um, they're gonna give him a like a liver medicine uh, basically with all the good stuff and for the liver and then they're also gonna give him an antibiotic just in case just me and Avril are here, and I'm not not feeling so great. I just, I, like, I'm glad he's getting help, and I'm, I'm so glad I took him in, but I just feel like shit. So I called my mom and told my mom what was going on, and she said, pack a bag, you're coming to my place tonight. So I guess I'm going to my mom, so I'm currently packing up a bag to go to my mom so I don't have to be here alone. I just, I love my Jackalberry. He's always been such a healthy boy, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know. I just feel terrible. And I miss him already. I like, I gave him a kiss and I said, oh, I better get my New Year's kiss in now. <laughs> I just want him to feel better. So I will keep you guys updated. Um, I don't know if they're going to call me later. I don't know if they're going to call me tomorrow or Thursday. I don't know. Um, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to finish packing and get ready to head to my mom's house for the for the night so so I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip Bye. one minute okay five four one minute mom <laughs> yeah two one nine eight seven twenty nineteen eighteen seventeen sixteen 
7, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Okay, so can someone explain to me why my thumb is doing this? So when I go like this, my thumb is fine, right? But as soon as I bend it, it like uncontrollably shakes. I'm not doing this on purpose either. You guys see that? I'm not doing that on purpose. That's literally like... I'm so bugged out. What the fuck? And like, does it do it on this hand? Not as, oh, there it goes. What the fuck? Am I dying? What's happening? Hey guys. Today is January 1st, 2020. It is New Year's Day today. That's freaking crazy. I was at my mom's last night. We stayed up, watched the ball drop. I was completely sober for the first time in years. And at around maybe like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, we went and ran some errands and now I am officially back home. My mom um, came in and we kind of cleaned my house up a little bit, which feels so good. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I feel like my life is falling apart, Jackal for instance, whenever I feel like something bad is happening, the one thing that will always make me feel better is a clean house. So we changed my sheets, we took out trash, we started laundry, we started dishes, I cleaned my kitchen floors, I am going to vacuum at some point today. I did hear an update on Jackal this morning at about 9 o'clock, which I was very anxious. I didn't, I slept okay last night, but I kept waking up just wondering how he was doing. Like, I was like, is he freaking out? Is he scared? Like, I don't know. I, my mind was just spinning. So when my phone rang and it was an update on Jack, I was very happy. So basically what she said is, she said she had a harder time giving him his medication and that kind of made me worry at first, but she continued to say he was more aggressive, meaning he was more himself. If you know Jackal, Jackal is very, very aggressive towards other people. When she said that yesterday she could give him his medication no problem, like he wasn't aggressive or anything, that's when I knew something was wrong. And then when she said that this morning he was a little bit more aggressive, that made me feel a lot better. And that's what she said too. She knows Jackal, like she knows he's a little a-hole. That made me feel better. He also did eat a little bit of dog food by himself last night. So she is going to um, leave him some more food and water. He is still currently getting fluids, so she's gonna leave him more food and water. And if he continues to improve and eat a little bit more and drink a little bit, then we're on the right track. I did ask about the ultrasound because they were gonna do an ultrasound on his liver. And the results with that are his gallbladder was completely blocked and filled with like a sludge, kind of like a bile, something like that, I think she said, and that it was getting so full and blocked that it was pressing on his liver, which is why he was getting those results back with the blood test for his liver, liver levels being so high. She doesn't think he has any sort of like condition. She, I asked about food because that's the only recent change in his life is food a couple months ago i switched him from merrick to purina and i asked if it could be the food and she says no it it just something that just happens it's just a blockage and the fluids and medication are helping to kind of drain it out which should bring his liver levels back down to normal now i don't know i don't know what that means is he gonna have to have his gallbladder removed i don't know is he gonna have to go through other treatments I don't know so we're just kind of taking it day by day but that's what's going on with his liver I don't think there's anything wrong with his liver I think it was just all the sludge that was in the gallbladder and now that he's on fluids and medicine it is kind of helping to drain that so it is good news we're not completely out of the woods yet he is still at the hospital the doggy hospital getting some fluids and I will be getting another update at around five six o'clock she said so I will hear something in the next few hours and I will update you guys on that so yeah 
Other than that, I'm just kind of hanging out at home. Avril is absolutely exhausted. She had she stayed up so late last night and we were in the car and we were running errands, so she's exhausted. She's been sleeping. That did say that she was very optimistic about everything, so that is good. Um, I will, like I said, keep you guys updated in a little bit, but for now I'm going to get back to getting things picked up. So I will talk to you guys very soon in the next clip. Bye. Hi, just wanted to give you an update. Um, so Jack ate everything that I left for him again. Oh, um, good. He's doing really well. In fact, I think now he's starting to realize, like, I'm his friend. So he came even. He was even wagging his tail when I came in today. Oh, what a good so, boy. Yeah. It jumped, like, right into my arms, like, please don't put me back in there. I want to stay with you. Oh. So, um, so he ate really well. It's one of his meds he doesn't like. Um, so it's a little bit more difficult to give it to him. But I can go over that with you. But I do think because his catheter is still good, his fluids are still flowing, it's a good idea to keep those fluids going through his system overnight again. Okay. And then have him go home tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. IV catheters, sometimes we get a few days out of them and sometimes we don't. So that was kind of one of the things I was thinking this morning, too. Like, if something went wonky with his catheter, but it's running really well and it looks really good. He's leaving it alone really well. So. Okay, good. Um, I did try to give him a little bit of dry kibble in, because I've been feeding him a special food that we use in the hospital here that's really high calorie. Um, and he's been eating that right up. So I tried to give him some dry kibble and he looked at me like, I don't want this. I want the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, so okay. Sounds I, like him. I'm going to leave a little mixture in there for him. Uh, and then I'll come let him out before I go to bed again. But when I come let him out before I go to bed, I don't call unless there's a problem. Okay. So, um, don't be surprised if you don't hear from me tonight. Okay. Um, I don't anticipate anything going backwards with him. Okay, um, awesome. And then we'll touch base again tomorrow and come up with a plan from there. All right, awesome. Sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.